Hi, this is Joshua Stern. Thanks again for taking the time to watch our video blog. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the six biggest obstacles for first time home buyers. Obstacle number one, down payment. So unless you're independently wealthy or you just won the lottery, you're probably going to need to get a mortgage. So here's what you need to know. VA loans, which are available to veterans, let a buyer put zero down. Uh, most other loans, except for certain types of special loan products like Utah Housing, um, will require some sort of a down payment. I know our preferred uh, lender Veritas has a 1% down payment program, but most of these, just so you're aware, are going to require a minimum of 3% up to about 15 to 20% of the purchase price. Obstacle number two, obtaining minimum FICO scores. Y'all know what your credit is, right? Two magical numbers you're looking for, 620 for the FHA and 720 for conventional loans. If your FICO score falls below that number, you may not qualify for a mortgage or perhaps the interest rate may be higher on the mortgage that you do qualify for. So to find out your FICO score, you should ask your lender to run your credit report. You can attain a FICO score online, but it usually costs money. And it most likely will differ from the score that your lender obtains. Your lender will pull your credit scores from three different reporting agencies and they actually take the middle not the average, but the middle score. Number three, meeting lender ratios. Most lenders expect a buyer to have maximum 33% front end ratio. This means that your mortgage payment plus taxes and insurance, they cannot exceed 33% of your monthly gross income. So if you earn 5,000 a month, the maximum principal interest taxes and insurance payment, which you may qualify for is 1650. The back end ratio is a little trickier. This involves adding together your PITI payment along with all monthly revolving debt. And it's a percentage of gross monthly income, which needs to fall between about 41 to 50% depending on what type of loan that you're going for, all right? So, obstacle number four, receiving an appraisal at value. I'm gonna talk more about this in another episode. So, the Home Valuation Code of Conduct, which is the HVCC, became effective May 1st in 2009 and applies to all conventional transactions since January 1st, 2010, and it now applies to the FHA transactions as well. And it is a well-meaning process that has flaws and it has critics. In the past, a lender could select its own appraiser, and the appraiser was generally experienced. They knew the neighborhood. They had appraised many homes in these specific areas, which you typically would uh, result in a fair and balanced appraisal. Now appraisal management companies pluck an appraiser at random from a pool of appraisers, and then your appraiser could be from another area or unfamiliar with the neighborhood, which often results in a low appraisal. Salt Lake is endemic for this. Uh, if the appraisal does not come in at the value, if the seller refuses to adjust the price, the buyer either has to come up with a bunch of money, the difference between the appraised value and the purchase price, or you're going to end up having to cancel the transaction. Number five, satisfying loan conditions. Underwriting can be, well, let's just say brutal. An underwriter reviews the file and can make demands. Don't get upset, just deliver the documents, sometimes more than once. Um, they write the rules. These demands can include more documentation, appraisal review. Um, even then, an underwriter could reject the loan for a variety of reasons. I like to think of underwriters as sort of your in-laws. You know, They find every reason why you can't marry their son or marry their daughter until they finally run out of reasons, and at that point, they finally have to approve you for that marriage. So that's kind of like the underwriting process. And finally, number six, home buying obstacle. Inventory of available homes for sale. So some of you who are watching this right now already know in today's market, we're seeing tighter inventory than ever before. And this means for first time home buyers purchasing homes under 350,000 along the Wasatch Front that you have lots of competition. For buyers, it isn't surprising in this market to be competing with a dozen or more offers on a single home. There are two solutions that come to mind. Number one, be the first out to the property and weed out the competition, help you get the best property at the best price. Number two, call an agent and get your specific home buying criteria set into their system so you get priority notification of homes that match exactly what it is that you're looking for and be sure that this is a buyer's agent who is experienced to compete in this type of market who has a reputation of winning with their buyers and has the knowledge to prepare offers that stand above the rest thanks so much for watching this blog and i hope it helps you out from a first-time home buyer standpoint